Hello, my name is Natalie and I'm executive chef for Christopher Kingsley and we're in the Roundhouse Kitchen today. Uh, this, this month is Sustainability Month. We have a couple of sustainable approaches that we're really passionate about here at Roundhouse. Our fish is one of them. So one, two of our sustainable approaches is that we only use line caught fish and the second part is that we use every part of the fish to make sure nothing is wasted. So today, um, Shane Seafood, a uh, local fish supplier, has got us this beautiful Ma Malawai fish. This uh, Malawai is lion caught. Uh, so let me take you through, you know, let me take you through his best features. And, uh, and I'll show you how, what you can do with different things, of different parts of the fish, and just talk you through it. All right. So first of all, and most importantly, I like to make sure that the fish is lying caught. So I have a look in his mouth to see where the, the hook has gone in. So he's there, the, I can see a little hole in here, so we are good to go. Right, so we got this beautiful fish, right? So once we cut down the center here, we're gonna end up with two, two fillets. So with one, you can definitely uh, portion it up to nice individual serves. You can put it with a beautiful sauce, a uh, beautiful butter sauce, maybe with some clams or uh, through some pasta. It's really beautiful. Um, and then let's say the other side, you can keep it as a whole fillet and you can bake it whole. I personally, I love baking it in banana leaf with a bit of coconut meal, lemongrass, um, kaffir lime, some chili. For me, that is amazing. Or here at Roundhouse, we, we wrap it up in paper bark. And that's also really beautiful. It gives us a really earthy tone. So the, uh, these are our fillets. Now, let's talk about some of the parts that we don't normally use, right? They normally go to waste. Let's, the head. So in Indonesia or in some Asian countries, they love fish head curry, right? Maybe in Australia, not quite our thing. But what is a beautiful meat is meat from the cheek, so, uh, which is really, really beautiful. It's really soft, it's really luscious. Here we, um, we make wontons with it. So what you can do is you can braise out the, the meat in a little bit of stock, or, and then you take it, you take it, you break it apart, you can put all your, um, your spices and your flavors in there, like chili, a little bit of coriander, um, some water chestnuts perhaps, and then you just, roll it up in your, your wonton wrapper and it's really, really beautiful. Fish wonton soup, yes please. All right, <laughs> our belly down here. Our belly is a really beautiful part. Um, you can just really simply grill it with a little bit of teriyaki sauce or you can turn it into like a bit of like a pate or a riyet. A riyet is very similar to a pate. It's just when you, you break it apart with your hands and bind it together rather than blitzing it, okay? Now, uh, we've got our wings here, right? What I really like to do is, I like to put it like uh, a salt and pepper flour. So think uh, calamari seasoning, right? Flour, salt, pepper, bit of paprika, and then you just flour it and you throw it in the fryer. It becomes super crispy and it's like uh, chicken wings. I, I think it's like chicken wings, but fish wings, you know, so we have our tail left and our skin. So if we're taking the skin off and using the tail. Uh, what's really cool that you can do is you chop it up into small bits. The, the tail, really the softer parts of the tail on the inside here. Um, try not to use the ones on the outside because they're a little bit harder. Um, but and the skin into small little uh, squares or whatever shape you get it. Really, let's not be too fussy. And then you. Um, a little bit of flour, throw it in the fryer and it becomes this really really crisp skin. Like when you, like pork skin, right? When you fry it, it becomes really crispy. Then after that, throw a little bit of spice on there. Um, any kind of spice, spice mix you might have at home. You know you have these beautiful chipotle uh, smoked spices that you can buy in the supermarket. Um, any kind of chili, it's, it's really very beautiful and with a beer, and a bit of fish skin, I'm telling you, it's like, um, it's, your, it's your new peanuts, really. All right, uh, so now I think we've used everything. We've got the head, we have the wing, the belly, 
the, the two beautiful fillets, the tail and the skin. Now anything that we don't use and anything that we have left over, we compost it. And then the compost is turned into either mulch for gardening or things like that. So where we really try to be a zero to low waste environment and what waste we have, we definitely turn it into something else. And I think that's really, really key. Next, I'm just going to show you all the, the parts laid out. I reckon that's going to be pretty cool. All right, so now we've broken all the broken the beautiful mellow way down. We've got it all set spread out into the little bits that we the little parts that we were talking about before. So I'm just going to take you through them. All right. So at this end, we've got the head. So remember how we talked about before that we just could make wontons with that. We're just going to braise it out as it is. You can feel the beautiful um, the beautiful meat in here once it's cooked. Just just pull it apart. Really use a spoon. Use your fingers. Whatever. Up the front here, we've got our belly, the belly of a fish, um, and any kind of like off cuts that I had. I would turn all that into like a pate or a beer like we talked about before and that's just really beautiful. Just chuck it in a blender, blend it up with all your beautiful lime zest, a little bit of cream and uh, cook it out and it's really very nice. Alright, now we have the carcass. So the carcass is we use for stocks or fish consomme or anything like that. Um, the fish stock and consomme, if you really want to get a beautiful clear fish stock, um, my number one tip is that you put a little bit of ginger in with it. Ginger helps to uh, coagulate all the impurities and it's just going to give you a really, really beautiful clear stock. That's my tip of the day. If you're going to do one thing, it's definitely that. Alright, and now we've got our skin. Alright, so like remember we talked about before the peanuts are out the fish skin is in uh, throw it in the deep fryer with a little bit of flour and then any kind of seasoning you can get your hands on for me the spicier the better all right now over here we've got our <laughs> our two fish wings all right so again flour in the fryer uh, the flour always think about like like a, a spice calamari flour, right? Same principle in the fryer and it's really beautiful. Move over chicken wings, fish wings are here. Good, at the end here, we got our two beautiful fillets. So, uh, the first one I have yeah, just portioned out like a normal fish portion, nothing fancy over here. But you can just see how beautiful it is. You can just see the beautiful color of the flesh. You can see it's still firm without being too firm and it's just lovely. So if you're just going to pa uh, pan fry that with a beautiful sauce, maybe some clams, vegetables, anything, this is a winner. Even just pan fry it with a bit of lemon. Why overcomplicate it? Happy days. Now, last but not least, we have our beautiful whole fillet. And just like we talked about before, you can wrap it up in a banana leaf with any kind of, um, any kind of aromats in there. If you don't have banana leaf, just use baking paper. Like, don't get too fussy about it. And um, then what I would do is just serve it on a big plate, whack it straight in the middle of the table and share it out with your family and friends because let's be honest, food is all about family and sharing. This is a part of our sustainable approach here at Roundhouse. We're really passionate about it. We're really trying to drive to do the right thing and just continue to keep getting better and better.